morning 5:30 in the alarm rang a second time for me to move outside the house i came down and it's the lights opposite to my six cottage on the street is still on i opened the gate and the sun moon towards the light was switched off and i was not wearing a slipper then greed entered into me i thought the birds cages there my turkeys my geese my guinea fowls my doves all were kept on the right hand side so i thought before the my children who are in charge of those cages come out i will go and open it so i rushed up and opened the first cage is open i opened the second gate third gate when open bang one shit i was shocked i thought a current shock went in my leg just so much i didn't know what is piercing this terrible pain then i lifted my leg my left leg and i found something coming along <laughs> it was a big wooden piece and in the wooden piece there was big nail pre injection <laughs> i squeezed the blood i am now physically handicapped <laughs> and they continue to work so now what it feels is there but i think this is going to create some problem for some time because the nail will be having rust and then you know we may put we cleaned up we pressed the um, blood out and put the detol uh, detol and then maybe nice hot water with the kalu to the rocks so edward james corbett called jim corbett born in 20 july 1875 in jarkent a state in india and died in 19 april 1955 in kenya was a british hunter tracker naturalist and author who hunted a number of man eating tigers and leopards in the indian subcontinent jim corbett said tigers except when wounded or when man eaters are on the whole very good tempered occasionally a tiger will object to too close an approach to its cubs or to a kill that it is guarding the objection invariably takes the form of growling and if this does not prove effective it is followed by short rushes accompanied by terrifying roars if these warnings are disregarded the blame for any injury inflicted rests entirely with the intruder jim corbett tigers when they are wounded no animal left what jim corbett what he understood from the tigers is he said when they are wounded or if they have got a taste of becoming a drunkard that is man eating then it is different or if they are guarding a kill then it is different otherwise they will just roar and they say keep far away and it is your duty to just and if you don't listen to the warning then you had it the blame for any injury inflicted rests entirely with the intruder you have become an intruder warning was already given by the nature much before the thunder and lightning comes the black clouds goes around and announces like the olden time king's time he sends his person to announce in the village jang 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 this is the new order this is a new order like that the black clouds come and if the black clouds doesn't come much before that your ancestors if you are in connecting if you are in connected with your family and you join family and the family tree they will tell you in advance it's rainy season in july in india in karnataka and the month of june prepare everything ready yes and they prepare everything ready what do they prepare for the rain water harvesting they immediately go to all the drains and clear up all the drains so that the water can run beautifully to the beautiful ponds lakes rivers and uh, um, wells which they created and the check dams and those waters are not wasted it becomes ground water recharging and when they see the clouds they knew we'll tell the children all come in said let the rain fall beautifully with thunder and lightning it sends thunder and lightning must go before it hits the flow 
and it was our duty to beautify the whole land pedicure many good for the god for the aditi devo for the for the nature to come and fall down much before you get up much before you get up the crow the family tree knows the john from the, the not the crow crow the 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 hen the cock sends the whistle for you the alarm with now you have the alarm clock but the, the cock sends the alarm bell for you to wake up telling the sun is going to come much before the sun the sun is going to rise turn up the house welcome him Early birds catch the best prey. So if we still still don't understand, then the rain comes with the terrifying effect, killing and pushing and destroying everything. Like the tiger, it roars. It would James Corbett, Jim Corbett. Tigers except when wounded. Occasional okay, kind of object too close in approach to his cubs or to a kill that is guarded. Objection will take the form of growling, growling, thunder and lightning. Kudu kudu minchu this. Thunder and lightning, and if this does not prove effective, then you had it. You are the cause of it. You are intruder. And the blame for an injury inflicted rests entirely with the intruder. Yes, when you practice, when you go to the classroom, you go well prepared. When the teacher teaches, your ears are open and your eyes are open, your brain is open. Your eyes and your ears and the brain is not open because. You morning you didn't get up before your sunrise, and you have not practiced your Sanskrit. Don't blame this child. Don't blame the teacher that you are not becoming a good learner. And then you, when you go to cheat, when you go to copy in the examination, you see you start shivering and somebody start. Copying because you know the economy of the next generation is going to crash. These children who are copying are going to become the leaders without understanding the fact they will have to practice a thousand times before going to the stage. When that doesn't happen, the roar, the growling, the growling happens. You can see the growling indiscipline inside the classrooms means. Children are not open the ears. Not only teach it, the parents also have to make sure. When you make a small noise, a small hatch cold, no disease will attack you much before. No cancer, AIDS, or any big heart attack will not come. When the cold comes, it is giving you the signal like the black clouds. Little giddiness, black cloud. You fall down, giddiness. It is telling now. It's time for you to clean up the internal organs. You have to fast, drink distilled water, rest, go to the sunlight and sweat it out. Clean up. Otherwise, you are going to have it from your cold. From your cold, the cough will come. The fever will come. From the fever, the asthma will come. And from asthma, it goes go bigger and bigger, and then. You will. You are digging a graveyard, like how the rainwater comes. Join your joint family tree. The moment you find there is a love relationship is smallly broken inside the house, you start going out to the shops and you start looking at the shops and you start spending your money in the shops. You start buying small small apartments and spending crores. That time. You know it is going to become danger because you are not connected to your family tree. The moment I move to the shops and you are spending money and not cooking at home, you have lost the touch of your reality. The moment you got cold and you rush up to the hospital to a stranger, devil has entered the house. A warning has happened. When the cold comes, yes, that time you have to go out and practice more. You have to sweat it out, and you have to eat fruits before your meals, not after. Sweat. When you don't sweat, fever follows. Edward James Corbett said, "Tigers, except when wounded or when man eaters, are all the whole very good tempered. Even the." Fever is very good tempered. The nature is very good tempered. The teachers in classroom very good tempered. Your brain, your eyes, your nose, everything very good tempered. 
occasional tiger will object too close in approach to its cubs or to kill that is guarding the nature the body is guarding all those things and it objects when you are not doing you are not maintaining by doing your exercise and cleansing that is time it growls the objection will take the form of growling <coughs> all this will come growling body is growling and if does not prove effective this will have a short rushes a came by terrifying roll and if you don't immediately take go for a fast and cleanse and do your prayers and go back to some school and cook your food at home and eat your food at home not the dirty food what you buy from swiggies and piggies outside and start dying if these warnings are disregarded the blame for any injury inflicted recently or with the intruder a warning to all of you 